High School at Home, and I'm your host, Reese Velez. Happy New Year, Wildcats! I hope you had a fun and relaxing winter break, but without further ado, let's start the first episode of 2021 with a video from CISA. The concern now, moving forward, is what the storm does in the next 24 or so hours over the South China Sea. We do expect it to maintain its intensity, maybe even strengthen a hair here and get up to a strong Category 1 equivalent before it makes landfall sometime around the middle portion of this week in coastal Vietnam. Like many other crises that are happening around the world, such as the Yemen crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the Beirut explosion, the floods and monsoons in Vietnam have left people starving, homeless, and killed. Mainstream media has been failing to bring awareness to this catastrophe. Therefore, with the help of Whitney High School CISA, Oxford VSA, and Western High School VSA and Korean Club. We are raising funds to help those that have been affected. You can use the GoFundMe link on all our social medias to make your donation. The funds will go directly towards disaster relief efforts by the Red Cross and their operation to improve shelters, livelihoods, and basic needs, including health, water, sanitation, and hygiene promotion. As a community, we will be able to assist in relieving damages from the massive floods that still affect millions of Vietnamese people. I know, I'm not Reese Velez, I'm Jack Manalo, but our next video is a teacher appreciation video from CSF. So you guys take it away. Dear Miss Alves, thank you for being an amazing counselor and helping me schedule out all of my class difficulties. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Sincerely, Allison Lee. Dear Mr. Perry, thank you so much for all that you do. Your hard work has allowed us to seamlessly transition into an online setting. Your classes are always so fun and intriguing, learning interesting information every day. I cannot wait for the future and what is to come. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Jerick Wu, class of 2023. Dear Suzuki-sensei, I'm writing this letter to show my gratitude toward you as I am extremely thankful and blessed that you are my Japanese teacher. I cannot fathom how difficult it may seem to join, let alone educate, at a new school in the midst of a pandemic. I'm very thankful that you are so kind toward all of your students, and I'm also grateful that you put in so much work. Sincerely, David Hahn. a recap of Operation Christmas with Key Club. Hey Whitney, Key Club's annual Operation Christmas with the Salvation Army just ended this past December and we would like to give a big thank you to everyone who participated. We would also like to give a huge thank you to all of the students, teachers, and clubs that helped publicize and organize Operation Christmas this year. With all of your help, we were able to raise a grand total of $1,634 and collect over 700 canned food items and other essential supplies for these families, so thank you so much! Four families were able to have an amazing Christmas filled with gifts, food, and holiday cheer all because of your donations. We cannot thank you enough for your generosity and we are absolutely honored to have been able to make a positive impact in our community, especially during these unprecedented times in the pandemic. Thank you again, Whitney High School, for all of your support. We can't wait to see all of your donations for next year's Operation Christmas Drive. Happy holidays and stay safe, Whitney! I want to say this is the middle of America. Let's see. 
Oh, I was way off. <laughs> Anyways, we have a game review from Viani on the game GeoGuessr. Let's check it out. GeoGuessr is an online geography game where you are placed on a random spot in Google Maps and you have to try and guess exactly where you are. Players can choose from a variety of maps either computer generated or created by other players. This game tests you on your knowledge of cultures and languages of the world. For each map you play, you are able to customize your restrictions, like how long you have for each round, and if you're able to move from your spot or not. You can earn a score ranging from 0 to 5,000 points for each round, and it depends on how close your guess is to the original spot you were placed. On the website, there's a daily challenge that gives 5 different locations and is timed for 3 minutes each round. You can compare your scores with other players to see how they did finding the same places as you. Explorer mode is where you test your guessing skills on the geography of specific countries, and you can earn medals depending on the score you receive. There is also country streak, where you only need to figure out what country you're in and see how many correct answers you can get in a row. Some things I look out for when I play a map is what side of the street the traffic is driving on or what the nearby street signs are saying. You can also make your own maps to share with other players by using the map maker and handpicking five different locations. You can add your friends accounts and challenge them to different maps, but if you don't want to play competitively, you can do what I do and hop on a call with your friends and screen share the gameplay so you can use your collective knowledge to earn the best score. Now you can explore the world with your friends while you're all safe during quarantine. Whenever we go out in public, it's important that we do what we can to prevent the spread of COVID. To give us an update on the safety protocols at Downtown Disney, we have a vlog from Christine. Take it away. Hey Wildcats, my name is Christine and today I will be giving you guys a live update of the COVID-19 protocols at Downtown Disney. If you're a Disney lover like me, then stay tuned till the end. If you want to get more information and details before you go to Disney, I suggest checking out the official Disney website. The Disney parking structures are closed and the only available place to park for entrance into Downtown Disney is the Simba parking lot. The best part is, parking is now free. Okay, so according to the Disneyland website, Downtown Disney has begun a reopening phase on um, both parks remain closed but um, they will open depending on local and state government approvals upon entry they have a vending machine for disposable masks certain masks can deny you entry into downtown disney so i would check the website to make sure your mask is all good thank you we're good the next step we have um through these protocols is going through um Kind of like, I think it's like a drag your weapons test with um, the dogs. Then once you get through security behind me, then you're into downtown Disney. Another reminder that everyone is required to wear your mask in the park unless you're eating or drinking. Um, so most of the people who come here love Disneyland and will do anything for Disneyland or Disney. So they will follow all the safety protocols and wear their masks. So don't forget to wear your mask if you guys come here. And if you do somehow forget, there are signs literally everywhere reminding you to keep your mask on and practice social distancing. On the benches, there are spaces labeled where people can or cannot sit, so social distancing is in force. There are also several hand sanitizing stations and sinks available throughout downtown Disney. For restaurants and shops, all stores are open and even have the option to place a mobile order for pickup. At Jazz Kitchen, they have a glass divider to separate people walking and those dining in. There's also limited entry for the shop, so depending on when you go, you might have to wait in some lines. For the story everyone loves, The World of Disney has a long entrance line to follow. In the store, they have a ton of special Disney masks, as well as a ton of signs reminding shoppers to follow safety precautions for COVID-19. 
When paying, there are also glass dividers to protect you and the cast members. If you continue walking all the way across downtown Disney and past the park entrances, Disney opened one of the back lots of California Adventure and turned it into a premier shop. There's more Disney merchandise in this shop as well as more signs reminding people to practice social distancing. I also wanted to add a little clip to show you guys that the restrooms are consistently deep cleaned. So that's a look into how downtown Disney is working during COVID-19. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, they have a lot of safety guidelines here and they have a lot of hand sanitizing stations as well as um, hand washing stations for everyone's safety and convenience. Um, if you guys miss that Disneyland spirit and that just feeling of Disney, then I suggest coming here to downtown Disney and follow all the safety guidelines to get the most out of it while the parks are closed. I hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Alright, that's all we have for today's show. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And have an amazing day, Wildcats. Until next time, bye!